All right, here's a sample problem. It says, if a reaction occurs between 46.1 grams of cesium and 13.4 grams of oxygen, and 28.3 grams CS2, CS2O is produced, what is the percent yield? So what's going on in this problem is it's a little more complex. You have three numbers. You have these two, and then you have this third one here. The first two are both reactants. So you're going to use these to decide um, which one is the limiting reactant. And then you're going to take the limiting reactant and use this actual yield to find the, um, the percent yield. So the first step is we need to decide between the first two substances, the cesium and the oxygen, which one's the limiting reactant. And you can pick whichever one you want to change from units of the grams of one into grams of the other and decide which one runs out first. In general, I pick the first number. So 46.1 grams of CS, and I'm going to go from grams of CS into grams of oxygen, and I know that that's three steps. I'm going to put my grams of cesium on the bottom, and that's equal to one mole. And in the balanced equation, I have four moles of cesium and one mole of O2 and then I'm going to change it back into grams. And the molar mass of oxygen is 32, and the molar mass of cesium is 133, and these are both rounded to whole numbers. And when you do the math on the calculator, you get 2.77 grams of O2, and this is how much you need. Now remember, up here is how much you have. So I need 2.77 grams, but I have 13.4 grams, so I have plenty of this. That means that the limiting reactant is the cesium. So what that's telling me is, between these two substances, the cesium is going to run out first. I know that whenever I use up all my cesium, I'm going to produce as much as I possibly can of this uh, CS2O. So I'm going to take the limiting reactant substance, the 46.1 grams of cesium, and I'm going to now decide how much I theoretically could make so that I can do my percent yield. So I'm going to go from grams of CS into grams of CS2O, and that again is three steps. And then I'll use this information, this will be my theoretical yield, and I'm going to use that to find my actual or my percent yield. All right, so grams of CS on the bottom to cancel, and that's one mole of CS, and up here we had 133. And I have, in my balanced equation, four moles of CS, and I'm changing it into the two moles of CS2O, and now I'll change that back to grams. And if you look at the masses on the periodic table, you get a molar mass of 280 grams of CS2O. When you do all that math, you get an answer of 48.9 grams of CS2O, and that's your theoretical yield. So to find your percent yield, you're going to take the actual divided by the theoretical times 100, and that will give you your percent. So we'll take the actual provided in the problem divided by the number that we just found times 100 and when we calculate that out we get a um, percent yield of 57.9 percent. So this one was a little more complex because they gave us three numbers and so we first have to decide the limiting reactant to know which of those two reactants to then convert to find our percent yield.